What's going on everybody? It's your boy Dude Dan, and here we are back in my shop with our car that we got for free. If you've been following the channel for like longer than three weeks, you know that we got a Scion TC for free. A 2013 Scion TC for free. That's right. My buddy was like, I don't want it, and he gave it to me. Um, we've talked about what kind of build we're going to be doing on it on the channel, and against y'all's desires, I'm going to keep this thing simple. Everyone's like, oh, dude, you should probably fucking chop it, or you should lift it and put it on mud tires. You should do this, you should do that. And I'm like, I would like to not have a car torn the fuck apart for months, if not years on end, if I can avoid it this time. So I'm not going to do that. So me and my trusty companion, Jax. Come here, Jax. Let's say hi. Jackson's here today too. Do you have anything? Oh, thank you. Yes. Are you happy to be here in the shop? Well, the first thing that I wanted to do with this car, regardless, uh, much against y'all's will, I think I'm going to keep it really casual. Wheels, tires, suspension, maybe a wrap. Fix the stuff that's wrong with it, like the body that's got some damage to it, maybe a small body kit, a an exhaust, you know, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. A, a simple, clean, like Fast and the Furious style build without having to worry about the performance, because I don't want to do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some maintenance on it. Uh, it's, it's under its recommended oil change interval but it's been sitting for like a year or so maybe longer so we'll do uh, we'll do an oil change today and then um, a detailing we're gonna do some detailing on the car because the interior is garbage and then we can kind of decide where we need to focus our attention on all right let's get this uh, let's get this thing uh, in the air All right, so we got our car up in the air, and I did put uh, these on some support stands. I always do this, especially if I'm in the shop by myself. Like, I don't have anybody spotting me. I don't have anybody watching to make sure I'm not doing anything dumb, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. But these are just here to get in the way. So honestly, everything looks pretty all right underneath here. I mean, the exhaust, the whole undercarriage of the car is, is in great condition. There's no rust. I mean, it's a Georgia car, so we don't have any snow. We don't have any salt. We don't have any, worst thing we have is rain. <clears throat> Suspension looks relatively clean and very simple. I'm sure that breaking this apart won't be that bad when we do air suspension. Everything in here looks uh, hunky-dory. That means, you know, our, our CV boots look great. Our front axles look good. The boots look good over here too. Yeah, everything, everything seems to be in order down here. Nothing looks dirty or crazy. I mean, even our exhaust flange doesn't have any really rust, like no rust on it actually. So when we go to do an exhaust on this thing, it should be straightforward, very simple. Oh, we also have a shop dog. He's just here. Who's a good boy? Who's a big old fat boy? It is hot, but we have the AC in the shop running today. We got fans on and we have a bowl of water over there for him as well. Yeah, so everything looks good down here. No, no suspension damage. And yeah, it's been in a couple of accidents, but it doesn't look like any of that has, uh, has fucked up the rigidity of the frame. I just, just from eyeballing. There's no cave-ins, there's no crumpling, there's no wrinkles in the metal. I mean, it just looks, generally speaking, it looks good. So that's, that's good. But to do the old change, for the Scion TC, it's pretty simple. We need OW20, uh, 4.6 quarts of that, including the filter, which is right here. Uh, fun story, these are cartridge filters. Instead of it being like a whole filter, you replace the actual internal filter. And uh, that's cool, you know, whenever we got that funnel, cause I'm gonna fuck it up. But since it is a cartridge filter, oil filter, we need a cartridge oil filter wrench. So we got one here. This is good for Toyotas, Celicas, Scions, Lexuses. Maybe we should probably re remove this plastic fucking trim. I don't wanna. I bet if we just pull this tab right here, we can just pull the whole thing back. Just kind of fold it back. Maybe tape it off or something. Here, dog. Let me just let me get this little guy off of here. Oh, that works. Look at that. You can just kind of fold it back. It's like it was designed for it. You know, honestly, it's been so long since I've done like an old fashioned oil change. This will be interesting. I mean, not like Monty Python and the Holy Grail interesting or Baldur's Gate interesting, but it'll be interesting. All right, I always try to take note of how hard it is to break loose the oil pan bolt, because then I can just kind of like, kind of replicate that, you know? I'm gonna go to, ow, I'm gonna go to put it back on. That way I don't strip it out. All right, you guys ready to see the no, the no dirty method? 
Bada bing, bada boom, not a drop of oil on them dick beaters. Built different. Not bad looking oil. Not milky, looks pretty clean. I got a light kind of shining up underneath it so I can see through. I don't see any shiny metal flakes in it. Good to have it changed now, but it looks good. You know, this is actually nice, man. I don't get to do basic uh, mechanic work that much these days. Most of the stuff I do tends to be more like fuck around and find out fabricate or metal work. You know, it's like I don't get to turn wrenches on cars. I, I was talking to Gavin about this last time I saw him. I was like, I can't remember the last time I just turned wrenches on shit. I feel like a car guy again, not a fabricator guy. I'm a car guy. I got a tuner car. Fast and furious. Ba ding 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 ding. All right, she's pissing now. What do you have to say, Scion? That's what good pussy sounds like. Unrelated, how come when women pee, it sounds like they're frying chicken? Now I've done a good bit of oil changes, mostly on US domestic stuff. So I've never done one with this weird canister oil, you know, oil filter. I've never done one like that before. So this should be pretty simple. Okay, okay, I see. I'm picking up what it's throwing down. Call that good enough. All right, and we're just gonna give it a good old hand crank here. I'm happy with that, that ain't coming out. Just went ahead and fitted that uh, oil filter wrench uh, on the end of the oil filter, so all you gotta do is put your, uh, your extension in there and crank it off. Crack it loose. I am just kind of guessing what I'm doing when it comes to the canister stuff. My American muscle car don't really have none of them. I don't think there's any way of avoiding oil getting on me here, though. I'm an American, all right? I was bred in the oil. I was born in it, raised in it, killed for it, died for it, lived in it. Looks like this just kind of comes right out, your core of your canister filter. We should have a rubber O-ring that we need to replace, which is right here. We got to replace that. And I think there's another one, another something we gotta replace. Man, I thought I let this thing cool off. It is still very hot. So I'm pretty fucking stupid. Um, it's the first time I've ever done, like I said, a canister oil change. I just don't work on these cars. The kit came with two O-rings and I was like, well, I only know of o one O-ring. Apparently there's one at the bottom. This right here is essentially a drain plug for your oil filter. I didn't know that, I'm fucking dumb. Now, since I haven't technically broken this seal, this O-ring here, I probably don't have to put on a new O-ring, but since I have the kit anyway, I spent the money anyway, I might as well, so. Ow. We'll just pop off the old O-ring around here. Take a little bit of our, of our oil here, might as well. Get that a little luby, you know? Pop the new one on, just like that. Good to go. We'll filter on like so. Stick my finger up in there. Lube her up real good, like. Yeah, that looks good. That looks cash money. Snug, but not too snug. Otherwise, it will be a bitch and a half to take off later, I'm sure of it. And I'm sure I will have to take it off again at some point. All right, let me consider that good. I'm gonna hit everything real quick with some uh, brake parts cleaner by PB. And then, uh, yeah. All right, that was pretty easy. Good old fashioned oil change. 25 minutes, maybe, and that's including a quick Google of where does this second O-ring go? So what we're gonna do now is lower the car back down and put oil in it. Come over here where it's safe. I'm gonna keep you where it's safe, buddy. I gotta lower this car. You know what, while I'm thinking about it, Let's look at the brakes. The rotors aren't bad. There's a little groove in them, but I mean, it looks like there's, yeah, there's some decent pad left. We're good on brakes. We won't need brakes for a while, but we might get some slotted rotors though. We'll see. Oh, dude, where's that German bass guy? You know, this lift kind of fucking sucks. I mean, it's a great lift, but I think the positioning might be off because Getting most vehicles on it is a pain in the ass. Unless it's a big ass truck, it kind of fucking sucks. Oh no, I forgot to fold that back. I have to jack it up to get the points underneath it, which is kind of fucking stupid. The whole point of having a lift is so I don't have to lift it up with a jack, am I right? Who's a good boy? 
Look at look at that good boy right there. That's a good old boy. I don't usually use funnels, but fuck it. I'm feeling fruity today. I want to say that this is four or 4.6 quarts of oil, but I'm going to Google it just to make sure. 4.6 quarts with filter after refill check oil. All right. All right. So we got five quarts here. So we just need a little bit less than this. I don't have an oil brand preference. A lot of people do. Oil purple, castrol, Valvoline. This is what was recommended, STP. So I'm going with that. However, that doesn't make me not a shill. So if someone wants me to wants to pay me money to say that their oil is better than the competitors, I fuck, I absolutely will. I'll write these guys off like it's fucking nothing, dude. I'm a sellout. A little bit more of a dollop, a tad bit more. All right, I think we're gonna call that good. All right, we'll start her up and let her run for a second. Perfect, directly up to the fill line. I'm going to call this oil change done and done. Everything is tightened and replaced, including the O-rings. That is great. Shut this. Good old fashioned oil change, done and done. Fantastic. Now I still have more I'm gonna do this car. I'm gonna detail this car. I'm gonna clean it inside and out. However, Jackson has been with me for the better part of all fucking day. He went around with me while I went and got all the oil and the tools that I needed. He is an older gentleman. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him home and let him relax for the evening. We're gonna come back and then we're gonna finish knocking this thing out. But before we do that, this is a perfect time to transition to today's sponsor. Do you like feeling comfortable? Well, today's sponsor, True Classic, wants to make sure that you do. They're perfect fit for dudes. They're relaxed in the waist, but taut in the chest and arms to really accentuate your physique in the best way possible. And the best part for me is that they're still comfortable and breathable even in this insane heat, which keeps me cool while working in the shop. But they're also comfortable enough to wear while gaming and lounging. And they're basically all that I wear now. And there's not a better time than right now to get you some of these. All you gotta do is click the link in my description and you'll save 25%. No stretching, no bacon collar, no itchy label. And they don't make just t-shirts as well. They make button-ups, polos, crews, a lot of active wear, and they're also renowned for having better quality than their competitive brands. Whether you're looking for something professional or something a little bit more casual, True Classics has you covered. And like I said, all you have to do is click the link in the description, trueclassictees.com slash do with Dan, and you'll save your 25% off. I absolutely love my True Classic Tees, and thank you for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to work. Sorry, my microphone had a couple of drinks and it's having trouble staying up. We have done an oil change. Everything looks good. 10 out of 10, I made it to 30 and I can do an oil change. Fantastic, good for me. We're just gonna detail the car on the inside. Uh, that is a big thing, I'm driving it around. It's fucking dirty. It's been sitting for months and my friend did not exactly keep the car like clean. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't wanna be rude, but the inside is kind of fucking disgusting. Just kind of like what I did with the dually when I first got it. Just wanna clean it, scrub it, get the inside feeling comfortable, right? For that, let's take a quick glance around the car and kind of just see what's wrong with it, right? Like, honestly, on the outside, everything looks pretty all right. It's, it's not bad. Uh, let's, we'll start with the wheels, my favorite part. Uh, three out of the four wheels have damage on them, curb rash. This one being the worst. Uh, the other ones look really easy to correct. I can sand these down, smooth those out, and powder coat them myself, you know, I can do that now. This, however, is deep and it puts a, a chamfer on the edge here. So I think I will try to clean this up. I, I'll, I'll take all the wheels off after I put my new ones on and uh, have them dismounted and then clean them up, sand them, grind them, make them look clean as best I can and then powder coat them. That way I can sell these for a little bit of money. You know, I'll, I'll let people know that they've been repaired. Road rash on pretty much, I think actually there's road rash on all four wheels, but that one is the worst over there. Obviously we have this quarter panel here, which is uh, not great. The car has been involved in two accidents prior to me owning it. This is really our only damage is this, we've got this big cave in right here, but there's no crease. The, the panel's not creased here, but this is pretty much mutilated. It's really hard to get the, how bad it is on camera, but like this has been hammered in and then beaten out and it looks like the paint has split here and there's probably a little bit of rust in between the cracks. So I'm assuming that this whole section is going to have to be sectioned off and removed. I need to take this to a buddy of mine's repair shop and so he can give me kind of like a quote on this 
I mean, how much that's going to cost, but that is uh, for sure going to be probably the bulk of our cost. This wheel is in pretty good condition. We have a little bit of clearance issues on the body panels. This side is actually fine, which is funny because that's the impact side. But this side is the one where we have some fitment issues. And it looks like the issue is that the body mounting bracket, there's like a plastic molded bracket that goes and bolts it to the body here. And that looks like it's broken about here, yeah. So I think that's why we're getting our fitment issues. I wonder if I can just bonds it back together for the meantime. But we're definitely gonna have to replace that subdermal bracket that mounts the two bumper and the panels together. So that's definitely on our list of things to repair. Tail lights look good. I think they look fine. I don't think there's anything wrong here with the tail lights. They look great. Um, I will maybe swap these out for some cool aftermarket ones, but good condition. This, this weeb shit needs to come off. ASAP, I'm gonna try to take that off today as well. Our lower valence isn't in bad condition either, but we do have this whatever you want to call it. This is like a facade of a exhaust. This isn't real. This is just on this lower valence. So it's kind of cockered. I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but that needs to be fixed. Headlights need to be restored, something fierce. I've only done one set of headlight restorations in my entire life. I've, I've polished and cleaned one set. And uh, I'll do it with these as well. I'll show you how to get that crystal clear look, you know. You know, maybe do a custom grill down there. I'd like to do a body kit, but uh, I can always cut my own custom grill mesh for this and this, this, um, this in, what, intake, airflow, whatever you want to call it. But honestly, on the outside, that's really the only issue. We haven't dug into the inside yet, though. I don't know how well the camera is going to do picking up the dirt in this car, but it is not clean. All the buttons have like finger grease all around them. Speakers have dirt and dust in them. We got scrapes along our kicker panels. Obviously this is covered in dirt and grease. So are the buttons and the finger switches. We have a cool radio, that's nice. I'd like to put a backup camera on this thing. I don't know if this thing is compatible with a backup camera, so we might have to replace it, but I've got some good connections in the audio world, so. I'm considering having these reupholstered. The steering wheel's kind of gross. It's hard to see because there's not a whole lot of lighting in here, but this is uh, completely ripped up from use and wear. So that's the only part of the carpet that I can tell that's damaged. I don't know if I can patch that or if I should just get a whole new carpet kit. I'll probably just do some sort of patch or cover or anything like that. Back seat is covered in dog hair. My friend has a husky and he uses he used to use this to move the husky around. So naturally the back seat's covered in like dog stuff, you know. I mean it's got it's got a decent little sound system in here. It's got two sunroofs it's kind of a cool fucking car like it's not fast it's not you know the coolest thing on four wheels but like i think maybe i'm just spoiled by having driven like sports cars for the past eight years you know not having a back seat really and uh not being economical in any way so like i'm just turned on by tiny little luxuries it's so fucking stupid
you know, it's not bad. Inside here, it really isn't, but I've come across a couple of things. Uh, did, uh, Chris Tukasarski? Uh, I don't know what that is. And a, uh, like, a happy birthday gift card from Kroger, you know? Cool. All right, so we got the seats pulled out, and uh, I'm glad I did. There was uh, just a little bit of garbage over here. So I'm going to pull the vacuum out and clean all that up. I did get the dashboard. I got uh, not the full center console yet because I needed to get down here, but I got the dashboard looking really good. The steering wheel, I mean, all the buttons, all the buttons are super clean. Everything came out great on the steering wheel and the dashboard and the, even the door panels. Those look fantastic. I got rid of like almost all of the gunks. The dashboard cleaned up so good. There was so much crap on there. The display cleaned up really good. All the buttons, I mean like not a speck of dirt. I also used my detailing brush to kind of get in between the cracks on everything so everything looks good. I tell you what, man, this car is, is turning out great. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be. be nice and clean and I'm talking about like wiener soap clean I'm talking about Jeffrey Epstein's island clean I still want to see the list anyway the outside still needs a good wash it looks gross on the outside but I figured I'm gonna wait till maybe after we do the body work on that inside it is so clean in here everything is so nice and detailed all the buttons on the steering wheel are nice and clean there's no garbage anywhere it even smells nicer in here the best way to describe it is and this is going to be for my american viewers it smells like a gun store in here like a really clean a really well lubricated gun store which it's like a very specific scent if you're not american and you've never been to like big gun store you don't know what i'm talking about but like the gun section of cabela's you know like an armory you know it just has that like clean but work smell it's hard to explain it's a good smell it's a good masculine smell i feel really comfortable in driving this thing around now i mean i always have but like being in it and being more comfortable that's it's always the first thing i do with the car project is just clean it up on the inside so before we end i'll tell you kind of what i've got going on with this thing i have a set of wheels and tires ordered Am I Damn, dude, what the fuck is all over my face? You guys are just gonna have to deal with it. I do have a set of wheels and tires coming for it. They're ordered, they'll be here soon. I also have a suspension set up on the way, an air suspension. So I've never done air, air ride on anything before. I've never installed it myself. I've never even really fucked with air ride. It's just never American muscle in most of the people I hang out. Like all the people I hang out with are static life, race suspension. Kind of like the JDM and the tuner scene is all a little different, if that makes sense. So I'm kind Kind of in just embracing this and uh, we're gonna learn how to install the air suspension I think I know where I'm gonna put it in the back the wheels and tire setup is gonna look good so that's coming up uh, but I feel good to be in here I feel it feels really clean but yeah that is the end of today's video and I will see you guys in the next one Boop! who's a good boy
Who's a good boy? My boy. My boy, my old boy named Jackson. Who's my good boy? My good old boy. My good lumpy boy. Who's a good old boy? Damn 12 year old boy. Aren't you? Aren't you 12? Where'd that tail? Aren't you 12 years old? You look good though for 12 years old. You look good. <laughs> Wanna take a break? Wanna get some lunch? Yeah. Want some lunch? Come on. I got racetrack pizza for me and a little Lunchable for Jax. Hey, good boy. Hey, good boy. Let's go back home. Let's go back home. Jackson, wag your tail and wag your butt. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy.